Welcome back to another 5-minute tutorial on important Godot concepts and practical skills. Today we talk about navigating the 3D viewport as part of the editor. I also made a more general video about the Godot editor some time ago. You'll find the link to that in the description or in my playlist. The viewport is the center area when we choose the 3D workspace here. Here we place objects, we build 3D environments. This is where the nodes from our scene or scene dog here have their natural habitat in 3D space. You have to learn how to use this viewport very effectively and quickly, almost without thinking. So today we introduce some shortcuts and mouse gestures uh, that show how to do that really quickly. I have a 3D environment just so we see what we're doing. Let's look at mouse gestures. So we start from left to right. Uh, I can just click in my scene by left clicking. And here I can only select the entire scene here because this is a scene. I cannot select individual objects here. For that, I need to switch over to my scene. I can see here that there are lots of towers and boxes and so on. And now I can select individual items in here. That's my left mouse button. That's not technically navigating, really. Let's go back. Middle mouse button, I can hold that and then rotate around the center piece here. That's very useful for looking around. I can hold shift and move with the middle mouse button to kind of pan to the side, left and right or up and down. Then I can zoom in and out by scrolling the middle mouse button. And finally, I can use the right mouse button to look around, to look freely around. Then I can hold my right mouse button down and press W, A, S and D and W to move forward and A and D to go left and right and S to move backward. So I can basically fly around in my scene and explore it. I can use my mouse wheel to speed that up. or to slow it down, so I can get into every corner of this scene. And I can, for example, select something and let's say I'm out of view and I press F, then I'm focused on whatever I've selected, or I press O to focus on the center. We can further use the numpad to change our viewpoint. Right now we are in perspective mode, so we see the world like we, when we look out of the window. We can press 5 so we get into an orthogonal viewpoint. We can see that here. Now the world looks very boxy and objects of the same size look equal. So what are orthogonal views? I have a separate scene here to demonstrate this aspect. An orthogonal view allows me to flatten out an image. So basically, if I press on the numpad, Five, I get into orthogonal view and now these two cubes they are the same size I created them just earlier they now look exactly the same size even though one cube is much further back than the other and this allows me to work more precisely with it well angles edge length the faces they're all absolutely equal between the two even though one is further away and when I switch into let's say top orthogonal view I can use this to align these cubes from the top uh, orthogonal view here perfectly. I can do the same thing to do that in the front view. I can do that once again in the side view and here they are already aligned. And then when switching to the perspective, I can see, well, this now is aligned. So one is attached to the other. But in orthogonal views, I can basically do that in a single dimension very precisely and work and do that very exactly here. This is kind of the reason why we have this orthogonal view. So we can, we can see things without distortion. We can go into front orthogonal view. Now we look at the scene from the perfect front without any distortion. We press one for that, three for the right or side orthogonal view, and seven for the top orthogonal view. We can also press eight and two to kind of rotate that around. Again, we stay in orthogonal view and four and six to rotate around in the other axis. 
we can switch back to perspective view by pressing 5 again. Everything I talked about and much more is in this menu. You can also reach that by just clicking the menu here. So this is all for today's 5 minutes. If you want more videos, please like and subscribe and hit the bell. Please also leave me a comment if you want a video about a specific topic. So take care and see you soon.